Hey, what's up you guys? This is Los from the Big Retro Show and this is the Four Quarters Challenge. Today I'm going to be taking on some Afterburner, one of my favorite games made by Sega. So let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and put my Four Quarters in. And away we go. This is one of the classic, classic Sega arcade games. What made this game so awesome, guys, was the controller. It was like a flight stick. And um, it was really fun to play. You never saw that in our case. Of course, I'm not playing this on an actual arcade machine. This is on a MAME emulator. But the controller seems to be working fine, except for that death that I just had. I think this game came out, actually came out for the Sega Master System too. I remember having the Sega Master System and having and seeing commercials about it. Of course, this is a little bit different than the arcade. Well, actually, a lot different than that. You have to spend money to play it, as with all the arcades. And that's, you know, that's the whole premise of the um, Four Quarters Challenge. Is to see how far I can get in these old arcade games with Four Quarters. Now this is because back in the day, as payment for helping my mom, you guys, you guys know this story, but for those who don't know the story, as payment for helping my mom do laundry, she would give me a dollar to basically go away <laughs> and be out of her hair for, you know, however long. But, um, you know, I thought I would recreate that when I started the YouTube channel. And so that's why I do the Four Quarters Challenge. I never was able to get really far in this game. As a matter of fact, this is probably the... This is probably the farthest I've ever gone on this game, guys. And while this is um, one of one of my favorite games in the arcade to play, gosh, this is hard. it is definitely not one that I would consider my in my top ten, and that's because. Um, the gameplay, as you can see, is just a little bit, um, you know, it's, it's a rail shooter, essentially. And it's a little bit repetitive. But, I mean, it's, it's fun nonetheless. This came out around the same time as Top Gun did. And if you guys remember Top Gun, that was the movie of the 80s. Well, one of the most famous movie, movies of the 80s. And everyone wanted to be Maverick and Goose fighting evil. I always got a kick of the uh, lock-on system. The bop, 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 bop. That sound tells you when your sights are locked on. Yeah, it's just as easily they can lock on to you too, though. Yep, and they're locking on to me like crazy. We'll go ahead and, and give it one more quarter, one more try here. So we'll make this the uh, five quarter challenge. After all, there was always times in the in the arcade when, you know, you'd have the opportunity to steal a quarter or two <laughs> or uh, find one underneath one of the arcade machines that somebody dropped or, quite frankly, hustle one from somebody. So this is my uh, hustle quarter. My finder's keeper's loser's weaker's quarter.
Dang, they are coming at me. Yeah, I've always thought that half the fun of uh, Afterburner was the arcade stick. It's, it doesn't... I mean, the arcade stick is what made the game unique. This game was ported over to um, quite a few systems in Nintendo, uh, Sega Master System and all of that. But it's not the same as playing it with the actual controller. And there was my bonus quarter. Hope you enjoyed this short little playthrough, short little view of Afterburner for the Sega. Um, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel, give me a thumbs up, let me know what your favorite arcade games are, and I might just choose one of those to play in the next edition of Four Quarters. Until then, hope you guys are remaining safe out there, and that you guys are are trying to keep your head up in these dark times, man. That's all it is. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me. I'll see you next time on the Big Retro Show. Peace.